Oh, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot happening. There's a lot happening. Hi, South Florida. Welcome on back. Listen, we have Sherry Walker here from the Broward Humane Society this morning, like we do for you every Saturday. And she has brought along Van Gogh, who is always on the go. Okay, listen, Van Gogh has not stopped moving nope. since they got to the set. So let's talk about a little bit of Van Gogh's story. Still a little, small little kitty that needs a home. He is. So yes, he is quite active. Let's put it that way. I think yeah. he wants to paint. Um, so Van Gogh came to us about a month ago. A woman frantically came into our admissions department carrying Van Gogh and she was crying. She said she had to wrestle Van Gogh away from an iguana. Mm. The iguana was trying to eat him and had actually eaten off part of his ear, which hopefully he'll sit still so you can see it. He's oh, missing yeah. an ear. Um, oh, oops, he's feisty. Really, he just Van wants Gogh? to play. Listen, Van Gogh's still teething. Yes, he is, but he is an active kitten as you can see. Yeah. He spent a month in foster <laughs> care growing up. Um, he got lots of love and he's just one of many kittens that's looking for a forever home this week at the Humane Society. Oh, and you know what, honestly, Sherry, you know, we were all talking during the break. We had no idea the situation with iguanas and, you know, what they eat, or what they're interested in, like a yeah. whole new world. A whole new world. I didn't even think it was possible. I had to Google it and sure enough, it says they are opportunistic. I think because this little kitten was probably half the size, maybe his ear looked like a, a flower or a leaf mm. or something and the iguana, I think the iguana was probably quite large yeah. to have to um, try and eat him. Where are you going, buddy? Huh? Look I, at don't, I don't know, Sherry, you know, Van Gogh seems to really love you. No. <laughs> My house is full of kitty cats but right But you know now. what? Kittens, they're, you know, they're still a bundle of joy, right? There's still a lot going on, a lot of that energy that still needs to be tamed. So how long, and sorry, Sherry, if you mentioned this and I just totally blanked, it's but okay. how long has Van Gogh been with you guys now? So he actually arrived about a month ago. He okay. spent four weeks in a foster home recovering. Uh, the vet has checked him out. He's already been neutered, so he's ready to find his forever home. <laughs> oh, so cute. Well, something's telling me that Van Gogh is going to go, go, go. I think so. Very quickly. Look at him. You climbing mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Tyra. Yes. That you have as well. Yes. Yeah, so Tyra is a very active dog. She is two years old. Sadly, Aww. she was given up because her family has no time for her. Tyra is full of energy, but I will tell you, if you have a tennis ball and you want to play with her, just keep throwing that ball and it's going to tire her out because she is fun. She also loves the pool. Uh, if, you have a, if you don't have a swimming pool, a baby pool will work. There's one of our volunteers playing with her. As you can see, just really focused on that tennis ball, which is good because you can probably train her. Look, she knows how to sit. Active dog, I think an active family that wants a dog to go on adventures with would be perfect. And from what I'm able to tell in this video, Sherry, is Tyra like a, a medium-sized dog? Like how um, She's large? probably about 55 pounds. Okay. Um, not too big, but, but again, a very spirited dog. She wants to go on adventures. And just, you know, as long as you have an endless supply of tennis balls, I think she'll be good. And thanks to our friends at JR Dunn Jewelers, they've actually sponsored Tyra's adoption fee. Oh, perfect. So listen, if you are in the, you know, the running and you potentially you and your family want a dog, now's the time to do it. Tyra looks absolutely like a beautiful ball of energy. Yes. And I love it. So, you know, Sherry, before we go, you know, I always like to ask you when you get here, any yeah. movement on some of the pets that we featured recently? Um, We've had a lot of adoptions recently, so mm -hmm. you know it's. I would yeah. remind people check the website frequently; it updates throughout the day. And stop by. We open every day at 11 o'clock. If you can adopt and want to help, we are actually in need of uh, dog biscuits okay. and dog treats. Really good. And to some know. kitty toys. There's so many ways that you can help, even if you know you can't adopt. You know you can, like mm -hmm. you were saying, they're just pitch in. It's definitely needed. Our shelters are really just overrun right now. Mm -hmm. So if you can make some space in your home please do that. All right, Van Gogh, thank you so much for being here, cutie. He's a We're going to get you a home. We are. Yes. All right, don't forget our website, local10.com, as well as humanebrower.com for everything you need to know about today's segment, future segments, and also past segments as well. And if you want to donate or adopt, all the info's for you there. Let's get you over to Jordan.